So just a kind of a quick update. This table was cleaned off 10 hours ago, 12 hours ago. Now you see its current state. Um, met up with Jeff of Jeff's Custom RC. He lives about an hour, hour 15 from me. He invited me out to his field. It had a great time, had a ball. Brought the F-22, the L-39, and the FMS Bayhawk. And man, just ripping up the skies. And it's been a, it's been a while, it's been a hot minute since I brought up my jets and, and had as much fun as I had. Funny story is, is that the L-22 gear door, front nose gear door, had cobwebs uh, on it. And then there was like cobwebs, I kid you not, that stretched from the elevator down to the tip of the aileron. And I'm picking this, these birds up, I'm like, Man, this is, <laughs> I haven't flown them in that long. Um, but kind of like a, a little tip, guys, is just because you have a plane that you feel is like set up to like, yeah, this is things dialed in, you know, kind of change it around a little bit. And, and for me, it was Expo. Typically, when I'm made in a plane, I'll dial in a good bit of Expo, like 40%. And I know this is a topic, same topic as far as uh, gyros go, right? Because everybody has different preferences. What I'm getting at is don't be afraid to tweak your plane or your settings because I went from a I have a three position switch so I run high rates and, and low rates low rates are just there for high speed passes I took my high rate this plane was at 35 percent got ballsy and dropped it down to 25 percent in in middle position so I still have my high that I'm comfortable with right and the difference was phenomenal. I loved every bit of it, especially on landing. I felt more connected with the plane. It's it was it's it's weird, but overall, like I, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Um, but shop updates. This is how I hang my planes. Reason being is my family. We use this shop too as like an area for families to get together for reunions. That way, we don't have to clean up the house. They have kids, kids like to touch stuff. So the planes are up there. I've got to get these up here. Um, so I've got some longer PVC, just like the Spitfire has, uh, for the Corsair, which is gonna go above it. The center to center is like 17, 17 and a quarter. And what it does, it fits right here where the wing um, has that concave portion where the black stripes are at. So it fits nicely in there. I just have my P47 up there, but I've got to get them up uh, higher and off the boxes. Now, I know what you guys are saying. Dustin, why in the heck is your F-22 on an E-flight box? I know in the world of RC planes and jets, this is absolute blasphemy. You guys are going to have to apologize why I got such, a, such an awesome bird on a crappy uh, box. Yeah, I said it. F-18, it's coming together nicely. Um, the aileron servos are acting up, but Motion is sending me some more. It's just one of the one of the games in the in the hobby. So, got that Cub. This is actually, I'm not a big Cub guy, but I, I do like this Cub a lot. I like the size of it. Ever since I've been starting to fly big planes, I've just been hooked on them because they fly so much better. I love it. The only difference is, and the problematic portion of it is, is I don't got a trailer, so I can only fit so much because I only got so much space. But literally, I, I I bring up a lawn chair and just fly it, taxi it to me without even getting out the chair, change the battery, and go fly again. Um, and then I've got my B-17s over to the right. There's the wings. I've got my CNC mill over to the right, but I can't show show it because I got some stuff I'm building. By far, A-10, my favorite plane. This plane is what got me back into the hobby because of Captain Mike, or excuse me, Pilot Ryan, Captain Mike's video on that, uh, especially with his whistles. But the other project, the Sweet Potatoes. Not good, it's the actual the uh, F-14 uh, here. And if you wonder why it's vertical, well, it's because the nose portion glues here actually glues right in here and then meets right in here. I didn't want it to sag, so it's it's vertical. And I've just been working on a little bit of the wiring because there's a lot of wires, oh my gosh. But get them cleaned up, get them ready to rock and roll. Um, but, uh, but yeah guys, that is pretty much it as far as an update goes. 
Um, been trying to get stuff done. I got so much projects. It's just, it's crazy right now as far as life goes. Um, just as a, a another announcement, and Rich already had done this, so go and watch Mary Boozer's video last week. Crap. I forgot. I forgot the Aaron and I. My apologies to Wes and Mary Bruiser Cruz, cr crew. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll have to just watch it later. I just won't be in the chat tonight. But yeah, this is just an update again as far as what's going on in the Raven Rock community here. So if you like this video, of course, thumbs up, thumbs down. Guys, girls, gals, you know the drill. Um, have a good week, and I hope you get some more stuff out to you soon. Be good, and I hope to see you at the field. Take care. Bye.